Hello guys and girls, in today's short video I will be showing you how to build a simple but good looking and functional chart that you can use to track the value of your steam investments. Behold, my beauty, your chart will look exactly like this by the end of this video, so stick around. This is done in Google Slides by the way, so you don't need to buy or install anything. So let me show you how this chart works. All I need to do is input the new data. Uh, for the inventory value, I'm just going to put about 700, it's not exact, I would have to go and calculate the exact number. And for the number of total money invested, I'm going to put the same thing because I did not deposit anything. Alright, and as you can see, as soon as I've input the new numbers, the chart has updated. Another cool feature of this chart is that you can zoom in by one week, one month, three months, six months, and so on. Uh, mine only goes up to 15th of October, it's been only two months. Uh, and you can also do this manually right here. And basically get any range that you want. So, now let's get into the creation process. And you can follow these steps to get the same result. So, I have opened the new clear sheet and I am going to create the date field, the value field and if you want to track the amount of real money you have deposited, you can also have a field for deposited, just like I do. But you can also have more fields, like one for profit, other fields, as many as you want. Right now we're going to work only with three fields. So, for the date, it's pretty straightforward, you just need to pick a format and keep that format. So, I'm just gonna put 13th of December. Uh, value, I'm just, I'm just gonna give it a random value, deposited 5. And I'm going to quickly fill in a few fields. So, now I have three columns filled with basically random numbers. So, next step is going to be clicking the insert button and then chart. We move it to our desired place. And then go to chart type, go down, click on timeline chart. And then we click on this little box and we can select our columns like this. But don't just select these three columns and that's it, you have to go down a bit. Basically select a few other rows, just as a reserve. So now we've selected the rows and we can click OK. And as you can see, I already have what I wanted. Then we have to tick this box, use row 3 as headers, just so we get these values right there. Then we can go to the Customize tab and tick these two boxes if they haven't already been ticked automatically. So, now you can just rescale this uh, little thing, close the chart editor. And now Every time you're going to input a new date with a new value and a new deposited amount, you're going to get this updated. And of course you can just skip a few dates, go down to 30 December and put 300, let's say, and deposited 200 or 122, whatever. And it's going to do that automatically. You don't need to do anything. And that's it. And for the last little touch, as you have noticed, my chart was all in black. This one is white. So what I actually did for that, I, I installed a browser extension, which is called Dark Reader, and it basically changes everything that you see into dark mode. Every website, of course, use this at your own risk. I, I haven't looked into this Dark Reader to know that I can trust it 100%. So be careful and do your research. But anyways, this has helped my eyes quite a bit and is a lot more visually pleasant. By the way, if you want to get in touch with me, you can do so on this server, which I'm going to link down below. I hope to see you there. So thank you for watching this short little video. And if you have gotten anything useful out of it, then please smash that like button and consider subscribing for future content. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.